Hello. Today we are going to be doing proportion setups. So here's how I remember this. We have two things called means and extremes. So this is the extremes. This diagonal. And these are the means. This diagonal. So it's mean to have to hike up a mountain, but you have to be an extreme athlete to go down the mountain because you have so much control that you have to have. So that's an easy way to remember that. All right. So now our proportion is going to be um, diagonal multiplication. So we're going to take the means. We have eight times a little time sign being the dot equals five times 24, eight X, we shove them together. And then we shove these together, but we actually have to do the math. So that's 120. And then we're gonna divide by eight, divide by eight. We're gonna have X equals, and we take our 120, we go to the side of our paper and divide by eight, and we get 15. That's in our example of our proportion. Okay, I'm gonna erase this just because of space, just in case I need something. All right, so here we go. We set it up, it kind of looks like, my colleague calls it band-aids. I think it looks like a pathetic pinwheel that's missing a few, or, or flower petals. So we do our scoops around it. You don't have to, but it's just an easy way to remember it. We have, we put down the diagonal, three times W equals two times 60. Shove them together. Number and letter, shove together. We don't remember it. Two times 60 is 120. Divide by three, divide by three. W equals 40. And we look at this one. Fourteen times y equals six times twenty-one. Number and letter shoved together. We do the math on this. Okay. Divide by fourteen. Divide by fourteen. Y equals, and we start picking numbers. Um, maybe nine. 36, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yep, so y equals 9. What I did over here was I just picked a number that I thought, I knew that 14 times 10 was 140. So I said, well, let's try 9, and it happened to work. Okay, two more. Draw a line. Notice my letter keeps changing. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if the letter's on the left or the letter's on the right. It's up to you. I always start low. The P. So 8 times 9, 12 times P. Number and letter shoved together. Divide by the number touching the letter. All proportions end in division. It's an easy way to look at it. Okay. 10 times X equals 12 times 35. Number and letter shoved together. We got to do the math on that. So we're going to take 35 or multiply it by 12. 10, 7, 0, 5, 3, 0, 12, 420. Let me just check our math. 10, 6, 7, 0, 5, 3. Yep. I'm just going to get rid of that math. If you need it, you can go back to it. Divide by 10. Divide by 10. X equals 42. These are how you solve proportions. This is a proportion, how you solve it when it's already set up for you. 
Now, another task to do itself is when you have a proportion from a word problem and you have to set up the proportion from the word problem. And that's going to be another day. And as always, I love math, diet, coke.